setting out on another storm chase. This drive is a bit less exciting than the previous ones have been because I'm not really caught up in the storm at the moment. But we've got a severe Warren storm in Sierra Vista and a whole bunch of bolts on the radar out in Green Valley area. It looks like storms, at least a few small ones are returning and hopefully I'll be able to get some good stuff tonight. I've been anticipating storms coming back. We've had a bit of a break of well, over a week of not really anything going on. Just the hot weather has returned. I'm just sweating so much. Excited for a nice cool down with some rain showers. And yeah, I'm gonna head out there. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff. I briefly stopped at one of my favorite vistas in Sonoida and snapped these two pictures. Here's a rainbow. neighborhood street here in Sonoida and I've been seeing bolts galore but I haven't been catching them because I'm too busy driving to find a spot. I should have just stopped at the spot I already knew. Oh well I'm doubling back to get there. I missed the rainbow and everything. Oh my these bolts are Amazing. I, I'm sure that this, this evening's gonna be a show though. There's been a lot of bolts from this storm already. So I took, took a bit of a wrong turn. I went a bit too far. I was chasing the rainbow. I saw some really awesome uh, bolts with the rainbow and everything. And I passed by the spots I normally go to here in Empire Ranch. So I, I'm, I turned around and I'm doubling back to Empire Ranch. Hopefully I'll be able to catch sunset. Uh, sunset's in 18 minutes, so I'm kind of rushing now. I'm running late now. I was here early, but made a bad decision. Hopefully I can rectify that once I get there. The rainbow's already gone. I don't know if it's gonna come back. Yeah, the, the clouds are a little thick at the horizon. Oh man. All right, we're driving into Empire Ranch. Let's see what we can find. I'm gonna try to go to my favorite little spot here. We made it to the dirt spot and there's a truck up there. I bet it's somebody I know. Let's see. Shoot this video. Very pretty. Thunder. Okay. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Yeah. There's been a couple big spot of ground this day. Yeah. I set my GoPro in the grass and got this time lapse of the sunset. But my Canon R6 got the best storm time lapse of the year. There's 
just not enough light for this. Really gorgeous show going on right now. Other storm chasers I met here are taking off because it's coming right to us. I'm gonna move this tripod over here. Yeah, it's getting to be where you can't really do much behind the scenes video because this light is gone. Become a bit of a mystery night. I just got a message from Greg to hang and then it cut off. I think it was hang a right maybe after mile marker 52, but it could be a left. I don't know, the, the, the direction didn't come through. So hopefully I'll see uh, the road coming up here in a moment. <laughs> Luckily, the only way to turn on that street was right. And I met with Greg and friends down the road. We had a great vantage point off of old Sonoida Highway and photographed some spectacular lightning. After the storm dissipated, we went back to the spot I was at earlier and photographed some distant storms. But soon, the clouds parted and we were treated with a beautiful night sky and a vertical Milky Way. Thanks for watching this episode of Storm Chasing with Ray. Please subscribe for future updates and new episodes.